guess what I have today. I got my GSG back from Dawson Precision from getting a new fiber front sight on here. And this is what they made. The dovetail cut was proprietary to the GSG apparently. And so now Dawson has fabricated some fiber front sights that you can drop in yourself. And he sells that for about 40 bucks, I believe. I'll, in the description I'll put the link to uh, the part and I'll also list the part number in case you're interested in doing this yourself. But these are the same fiber front sights that I run on my competition limited guns. Love it, man. I mean, it's like it gathers so much light. They're, they're beautiful. I'd put them on all my guns if I could. And I also had them put on some Novak rear sights. I just didn't like the ones that came with it. They were plastic. They had those little cheapy uh, fake looking night vision dots in the back. I like the no this one a lot better. They didn't have an adjustable sight that would fit back here. So I went with this one, and since I bought both the front and the rear um, sights, it's covered under their perfect impact warranty. Uh, in the description, I'll cover that as well. I'll put a link to that, which basically means if your point of impact is not perfect, they will get you the right height front sight in order to do that. Um, but anyways, the details will be in the description. Also, if you're watching this on a mobile device, you're going to be missing some of the annotations that I might throw in here too. So you may want to check it out on a computer whenever you get another chance. If you remember the stock GSG right out of the box, I remember it had the cheesy plastic ones with the faux looking night sights. It doesn't move or anything, but it's just, it's just, they're just kind of corny. And uh, then the front sight, it came with a few of these front sights where you could easily swap them out with an Allen wrench and then drift the plastic through that dovetail and to get the right height uh, for your your impact but it's a three dot system and I just I don't really care for the three dot system all I want to know about is where my front sight is because if your muscle memory from shooting is good whenever you raise the gun up to shoot you should be lined up anyway and all I want to like I said want to find is my front sight and if I can see my front sight and the target I can hit it pretty quick but anyways this is the stock one well we'll go over some pictures right now um, what you're seeing here is a comparison between the two in these photos. The, uh, the new rear sight that I got, the back is a little bit wider than the stock GSG rear sight. Um, so I, I guess in theory that could probably give you a little bit more uh, room for error from shooting uh, or missing your target from left to right. Um, the, uh, the fiber front sight, if you notice, is recessed inside the um, the cavity of the front sight, if you will, for lack of better words. Um, this has to do with how the fibers mounted inside there and believe it or not there is a wrong way to have the fiber in, in there and over time cleaning solutions when you clean your gun can break down that fiber material that plastic is just basically plastic. It can break that down plus you can break it, chip it on something on a table, you know, in a holster and you actually break it and it falls right out. But over time you will have to replace those. So having a, a little stick of the fiber front sight in your range bag is is pretty good to know. But uh, And also knowing how to put it in there. Which like I said there is a wrong way of doing that. And I'm going to show the right and the wrong way of doing that here in just a minute. Like I said I really like this a whole lot more than the uh, stock stuff. And uh, like check the description out for the uh, part number. It's just a $40 part and it comes in a little bag like this with a uh, drift pin. This is an aluminum drift pin for, um, for uh, drifting the sight over to the side. It's aluminum so it doesn't mar the, uh, the finish, but uh, you should be able to do it yourself. I mean, it's, it's fairly easy and Dawson has a, a link to how to put these front sights in. So, and I'll put that in the description as well. Alright, well thanks and let's get to that uh, fiber optic. Alright, let's first take a look at how it should be mounted. And you noticed how the, um, the fiber is recessed behind the black. If I rotate the gun sideways you don't see any red sticking out the back right here. It's actually recessed inside. And on the other side, it, you really don't care. You know, if it's, if it's protruding outside beyond the metal or inside. This one's straight from the factory so it's it's a very nice job. 
and you'll notice that there is a little divot right there in the metal see a little black indention there that is for I believe cutting it with a razor blade to get it out if you want to change colors these fibers come in different widths so what you want to do is make sure you have the right size fiber if you're going to keep some replacement on you this is the narrow well, this is the narrow sight it's .09 wide I like the small narrow wide uh, small, small narrow uh, sight for missing small if you will but anyways this is a properly placed sight and what this does for you is the fiber gathers all the ambient light and channels it through the ends obviously you're going to be looking at this one here in the back and not the one out the front but uh, it channels all the light through here and directs it straight towards your eye to the back and by having the uh, fiber recessed inside the metal like it is it keeps it from glowing and doing this halo effect around here if the fiber is protruding outside the metal it just starts to unfocus the beam of light if you will that's shining towards you and it, it creates like a big halo it's real annoying and can be somewhat distracting and I'll, I'll show you how to do that once I take this fiber out so I'm going to cut the fiber see the notch on top as I mentioned just gonna cut that out and I carry extra fiber on me all the time because like I said you will damage it when it is sitting outward like that beyond the metal that's when it's going to unfocus that beam of light if you will and just shoot it in all directions and it creates like I said a ring of light or a halo around that red thing but uh, so this is we'll, we'll mount that in there properly that is what it's supposed to not look like you must not have it look like in with it sticking out that is not good can't stress that enough so I have another spare piece here this is stuff I carry in my bag as mentioned before so you take your new piece of fiber and it should if you have the right size it should just go straight through it's like so perfect alright so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna melt the, the end that you're going to be looking at I'm gonna use a lighter and you just wanna get it just a little bit just moved see how I got that little mushroomed just a, let me put my finger behind it see if that helps you mushroom it just a little bit just to keep it from falling out so then you take it stuff it through let's see if I can get that there we go keep going alright and so now you should be able to pull it inside the metal just like that see how it goes inside without it sticking out and but it doesn't pull through all the way so that means I've melted it enough I put a little edge around the end of it so that it doesn't fall out I pull it in and there we go so now I'm gonna take my blade or I have I'm gonna use some dikes and I'm gonna cut the end of it off just a little bit there here real quick so now make sure you get it pulled trim it and this is where it gets kind of subjective you know but you just need enough to melt the end so I'm gonna give it a little bit extra so I'm gonna cut right there actually that's a lot sticking out I'm going to trim it just a little bit more. Okay. So now that you got it pulled out, or trimmed rather, we going to use our, blade, our heat again, heat source. And it's just going to melt it up. See how that melted? Like I said, it doesn't matter how, how, you can, how big this one is because you're not going to see it unless you're at the other end of the barrel. If you're at the end of the barrel, you're in trouble anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. So that is how you insert a fiber front sight. As you can tell, my insertion is not as good as the factory there, meaning that the outside is much larger. But like I said, it's this side that you really care about because this is the part that's going to be projected straight to you. So as you look down the front sight, you should not see any of the plastic from the big end that I just melted 
poking around. If you do, you got too much plastic. You can trim it off if you want. I would because it can be distracting. Plus, I, I go for the perfection, if you will. So there we go. And that is how to put on a Dawson or replace a Dawson front fiber sight. Like I said in the description, look for there. Look in the description for a part number and a link to uh, this replacement part that you can put on yourself. All you need is a vise and a hammer. And uh, I'll put a link in there as well for Dawson's uh, how to install it just in case. And uh, buy some extra fiber if you do end up ordering a site because you will, you will use it. Well, that's all I have. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.